I want to, you know, uh, to share with you the feedback I've had so far mm -hmm. uh, that locally we are looking forward to getting a global perspective mm -hmm. on leadership, on human centric leadership. Mm -hmm. uh, and I say global perspective uh, deliberately because mm -hmm. we don't do business as Kenya alone. We right. trade yeah. with the globe. Mm -hmm. So most, or rather, let me just say all, 100% of the organizations I've talked to here mm -hmm. uh, are very open and hungry for a global perspective, a global injection mm -hmm. of what you've thought of on leadership, specifically mm -hmm. human-centric leadership. Mm -hmm. So we are looking forward to actually uh, learning a lot from uh, that angle. You know how excited I am to become. This idea of human-centric leadership, it's not restricted to any geography or culture. We're exactly. seeing this is a right, this is shared, it's a shared human experience. That's all we're tapping into. And what's interesting, I know I get myself in trouble for saying this sometimes, but you know, people say, oh, diversity makes us stronger and so on and so forth. Uh, not so much. I you know, diversity makes us interesting. It can make us stronger if we're willing to embrace one another's differences and respect it, enjoy it. And incorporate right the different perspectives different skills different ideas that we have but it can also drive us apart if we allow it to so the important thing like i said is to engage in a meaningful conversation with leaders all over the world at all levels at all levels there's at no all. right there's no just right? we can't put anybody <laughs> in that in that bucket and when we do that like i said we're finding that we're really tapping into our basic human desires ambitions and needs and that doesn't change. I haven't been, you know, we worked in Cuba last year, getting to know more about Kenya from you and from some of our other friends there, uh, you know, all, all over Europe. I'm not seeing, with these fundamentals, I'm not seeing any differences. The, the rest of the differences, like I said, make us interesting and bring a lot of different perspectives. And that can be powerful, but it takes discipline for us to be able to work with people across those differences. And that's why we have to write that that can't be accomplished with a management process that needs a human centric leadership approach. So we look, look at each other, appreciate each other and respect each other as people, as human beings. And that's when we're going to do our best work together.